I decided to go natural because I realized there was a disconnect with black women not being able to accept themselves. Stronger, healthier versus with relaxer, it just really broke down my hair more or less. Because I was tired of getting chemical burns and having issues with my scalp. I get more attention with natural hair, I do. I believe that it fit not only with me, but I wanted to return back to my natural state. I have a cousin that went natural and I thought it was really neat. Just feeling natural about what you're doing, you know, God created you with curly or kinky hair, then that's where I want to wear my hair. It, it's really a, a journey and I'm, I'm happy that I did it. I think of a lot of things when I think of natural resources. I think of my personal journey. I think of the ladies that I work with now. I think about all of the clients that I've had for the past 10 years. I think about Houston, and I think about how I've grown up in this city, and I think about how I've had so much support from so many people, and over the years, just kind of uh, grown up and become a woman at Natural Resources. Everybody was looking for something different at the beginning, I think, when we first started this movement uh, for Natural Resources. The people that I met, uh, where women that had lost hair because of a hair extension, had lost hair because of too much hair color or because of a relaxer, not always because of a relaxer, it could have been a micro braid or a style that they lost hair to, but in either case, most of those uh, issues were things that were preventable. It really is a comprehensive hair experience from the time you walk into the door until you leave. Everyone's friendly, they say hi, they ask me how my day's going. It begins with a consultation. I've tried two strand twist, a two strand twist blowout, and bantu knots. It really has been a beautiful experience. I would definitely refer my friends and family to natural resources. For me to be able to do something that I thought was a small thing at the time, which is just to help women that were in transition with their hair, to make the transition and do something that I had been able to do. I didn't realize how much it, it gave me to make that transition until I started helping other people make the transition. And I started noticing that it was more than just a style, it was a lifestyle. Did you hear the report recently about the um, young woman who actually used hair glue extensions and she died from the glue? She had an allergic reaction and so when you hear those kind of stories it just causes you to pause and think about are there other options I need to uh, interrupt you from your, uh, your point right now but we can take it up on the next uh, segment we need to take a break so please stay with us and we'll be right back on KKHT 100.7 The Word for me, in the media at first, there were um, different issues that we talked about. Um, hair loss, hair extensions, children losing hair because of relaxers. Many women are experiencing hair loss from a damaged scalp. One Houston businesswoman said enough is enough and made it her mission to make sure women were educated, healthy, and still at the height of fashion. Please welcome the founder of Natural Resources Salon, Tamika Fletcher. For years, we've tried to fight the frizz, but it seems as though now the frizz is in style. The new natural woman is looking for something that's sophisticated, that chic and professional. A lot of women are coming into the salon because they're in transition. Joining us now is Tamika Fletcher with Natural Resources Salon. We've got Tamika Fletcher here to help us out. But now a new study from Boston University finds evidence linking hair relaxer to uterine fibroid tumors and early puberty. It used to be a joke that beauty suffers, but not to the point where, not to the point of death. Tamika Fletcher owns Natural Resources a salon catering to girls and women embracing the trend of natural hair. We have a special treat. Yes, we're using vodka to give you beautiful summer highlights and we'll show you how to whip that up again in the nine o'clock hour. We are here to show Houston how to make its own natural hair products. We're gonna make a hair spritzer, we're gonna make a banana hair smoothie and a natural hair lightener. Earth Nectar is our line of hair care products. Uh, we started out as a food-based company Believe it or not, we use food-based products like mangoes and honey and mayonnaise and eggs and those type of products for our clients because we were a small company and those things didn't need to be preserved. And so from that, I started showing people how we started. And so that led to a monthly segment with a, a show called Deals that's on the Live World Network. And that was an amazing opportunity and I'm still 
a part of that segment once a month where I show people how to do homemade skincare recipes. So it was awesome to have the opportunity to do something that I do um, for fun and for a business, but to do it on a regular basis on a national show. My name is Kat Cosley and uh, we are shooting a segment on easy and inexpensive updos. I haven't gotten the hang of it quite yet though. <laughs> <laughs> you did this, that looks great. I wanted to do a story on DIY beauty products. And the first story we did, I said, listen, let's do it more. We wanted to do way more with her because she had such great ideas. She's very great on camera. And so now we do a segment once a month. I'm here to do a natural hair photo shoot for Tamika Salon Natural Resources where I get my hair done. I'm wearing the wildflower weave and I've worn it for two months and I love it. The first uh, spread that we did with Essence Online was a gallery called uh, Ask the Expert and Ask the Expert was a, a gallery at that particular time about transitioning from relaxed to natural and they've asked us to put together 10 looks to demonstrate different styles that you can wear uh, while you're in transition from relaxed to natural. And so after that, we did a mixer with Kim Coles for the AWEC conference that she was here to be the keynote speaker for, and that event was also featured in Essence. I know someone wants me to say woo woo woo. <laughs> so I will. Everybody looks beautiful. This is a fabulous, what a fabulous salon you have. Our support from Essence has been incomparable. Uh, we've had a great response from our customers. Of course, Essence is the leading national magazine for African American women, and they've done a wonderful job uh, featuring women with natural hair. So kudos to the authors, the producers of each segment that they put together for women of color with natural hair. The Natural Hair Boot Camp is a class designed to help people that are interested in learning more about becoming a natural stylist to take charge of your natural hair at home. Not necessarily to say that stylists are not important and that all things can be done at home. We still need the advice of stylists, but also it's good to know what to do on your own uh, to shampoo, to condition, to twist, to uh, a little history behind your hair, the structure of it, and what products work best for curly hair. And so the class is really just designed to help parents and individuals that are already natural or in transition to natural hair some basic skills so that they know what to do uh, when they don't have a stylist or just to take care of their hair at home. What can I say about Natural Resources? I feel like Natural Resources is more than a natural hair salon, but it is a nurturing service. We're always open to opportunities to host events, to do public speaking, um, just about anything that has to do with the natural hair movement. Uh, we like to touch just about anything that we can in terms of uh, reaching people to not only promote our brand, but to continue to promote good information and true information about the movement itself. So my name is Tamika Fletcher. My business partner is Monique Mack. And thank you for watching. To learn more about our company, you can visit us at naturalresourcesalon.com or any of the links below.